I'm going to show you how to use recipe libraries from within Desktop Insight and I've already got it open here so from the help menu I'm going to choose Insight Live and that will log me into my account there and I'm going to say let's make a recipe library out of these recipes so I'll choose export selected as XML recipe library and then I'll click go now my machine is signaling me that a download has arrived and it's right here so I'm just gonna slide it over to my desktop right there and then we'll go back to Insight itself and then from the file menu I'll choose open recipe library go to the desktop and it's right here and I'll click open here's our five recipes so I can click on any one of them and I'll see a preview of the recipe in the upper right and I'll see the notes in the lower right and these recipes aren't too exciting so let's do something better here so I'll close this and I'll go back to Insight Live again it's complaining that I haven't encrypted my password there which I should do and I'm going to click advanced search and then I'll type negative one is the batch number and that happens to be a reference batch within Insight Live that anybody can get access to and those are the clay art recipes and there are lots of them, there's 700 there so from this menu down here I'm going to choose export the batch as a recipe library and I'll click go and now it's going to export those 700 recipes let's go back to Insight again and choose open recipe library and this time I'm going to go to my downloads folder because that's where it's going to be, it's right there and I'll click open and here we have it I'll just make the window a little bit bigger now I can click on any of these and we see much more information much more notes but better than that I can search so let's search for all the recipes that are yellow and we have, there's lots of them now the search is being done in the name of the recipe in the first column in the description in the second column in the notes and it also searches in the material names so let's search for recipes that contain Gersley borate oh there's lots of them so I can click on any one of them see here there's Gersley borate in the recipe and to open one of these I just need to click it and click open and here it is in my recipe list now notice some of the materials have asterisks in front of them and that is because of the way in which they are named these names are not being found in the local uh, materials database and so for example for this material I could go here and remove this and click update and now it's being found now it's important to note that a recipe library is for reference. You can't, I can't save this recipe back to the library. If I click on the details button here, you can see it's classified as a new recipe. Now if I click the save button up here, watch what happens. It gets saved in the database as record number 69. So to finish, I'll just uh, take a look at the Insight instruction manual here. And uh, I should point out that recipe libraries only work in Insight version 2013-5 or newer and if you want, want to know more about them just go to the manual and click on the recipe library dialog thank you